Question two here is looking at trigonometry problems. You know they're trigonometry problems because they're involving right angle triangles, but an angle is labelled. In this case, the angle labelled is 31 degrees. The first thing we must um, do is identify what we want to find. So find the length of side AB. That's this. We'll call that X. Now we've labelled the um, length that we want to find. We can have a look and label the sides. Now this is that angle here. So this side is the one next to it. That's called the adjacent side. And this one is the opposite to it. So that's your opposite side. Um, adjacent and opposite, they're linked together by TOA. This is TOA triangle. So with TOA, T for tan, tan of the angle, which is 31 degrees, that equals um, opposite over adjacent. That's the TOA bit. I write that down first, then I actually substitute in my value, so it's tan. 31 equals the opposite is x divided by the adjacent is 5.2. Now I've got x divided by 5.2 over here, so if I want to actually work out what x is, I've got to multiply across by 5.2. So x is actually 5.2 times tan of 31. Press that onto my calculator and I get that to be 3.124 are the first four digits on my calculator display so to three significant digits that's the first one, the second one, third one the fourth one is only a four so it can be ignored so that equals 3.12 centimeter correct to three significant figures Part B of this question, it's another right angle triangle where an angle is labelled, so it's trigonometry. Um, it asks for finding the length of side AC. AC is this one here, so I'll label it as X. Now I'll just identify the sides. This is the longest side, so that's the hypotenuse, H. This is the one next to the angle, so that's the adjacent side. So this is uh, Ka. So Ka Toa triangle so that's a cos of the angle which is 31 degrees equals um, adjacent over hypotenuse put in the values so we get cos of 31 equals the adjacent side is the 5.2 and the hypotenuse is x which we want to find now when we get x at the bottom here um, we've got to multiply up across the equal sign, so cross multiply across the equal sign to take x onto this side, and at the same time we've got to divide down by the cos 31. So I've basically switched those two around to get x equals 5.2 over cos 31. I press my buttons on the calculator, and that becomes... Um, equal to 6.066 of the four figures displayed. So three figures, there's your one, two, three, but the fourth one is greater than five, so you round up to 6.07 centimeters. Part C of the question, got the angle labeled. This time the angle is what is unknown. So x is the angle and it's already labelled on the diagram. Identify the sides relative to that angle. This one is the adjacent side next to the angle. This one is the opposite side. So it's adjacent and opposite. That's a TOA triangle again. TOA is for tan. So tan of the angle, which is x, equals the opposite over adjacent fill in what the opposite and adjacent are, so we get tan of x equals opposite is 6.1 over the 7.2. But we don't want tan of x, we actually want the angle, so we're going to um, do the opposite of a tan, which is a, a tan to the minus 1, an inverse tan as it's called. We write it as tan to the minus 1, so instead of being tan on this side, we say x equals um, tan to the minus one of, of this number, which is 6.1 over 7.2. If I get my calculator to type it in, 
I'm going to do its shift tan. So I've got to press shift tan on the calculator. So there's the shift key. And then the tan key is down here. So it gives you tan to the minus one. Then I'm going to do it as a fraction. And that one top of the fraction is going to be 6.1. And then down at the bottom of the fraction is 7.2. I must make sure I close the bracket. I've moved to the side to get out of the, the fraction. See where I'm flashing there? Yeah, close the bracket effectively. Tan to the minus one, six. Yep, that's the one. So equals, and that's my answer to four figures is 40.27. So that equals 40.27. And to three figures, that's going to be 40.2. I've got to go up with this fourth figure here. So that's going to be 40.3. Now this is an angle, remember? So it's not centimeters, it is actually 40.3 degrees. And part D, one more trigonometry question for luck. Uh, trigonometry, because you've got an angle labeled and it's a right angle triangle, um, it wants us to find the length of side DF. That's DF, so I call it X. I then identify the names of the other side. This is the angle, um, so this is the opposite side being opposite the angle. This one's the longest side, so that's the hypotenuse. OH, that's in the SO. So it's a SO triangle, where S for sine, so this is going to be sine of the angle is 26 degrees equals opposite over hypotenuse. So that means sine 26 equals opposite is 8.8 .8, and that's divided by x. We've got another situation now where x is at the bottom of the fraction on this right hand side so I've got to multiply up and divide down across the equal sign so this those two swap and it becomes x equals 8.8 .8 over sine 26. That if we press on the calculator gives us 20.07 are the four digits, first four digits displayed, and that's going to go to um, there. Your three figures, but I've got to go up because the fourth one is five or more. So that equals 20.1 centimeters to three significant figures.